it's uh, well michelle i never thought of it that way i mean i know people say that i just try to find things that are cheap whatever <laughs> they are and wherever they are i've been investing in uzbekistan recently because it's cheap and it's not as though i was saying let's find something new and different I found, I think I found something cheap, so I invest there. Money. Michelle, as I look around the world, bonds are a bubble. Bonds have never been this expensive in history. Property in many places, New Zealand, Korea, many places, property is a bubble because of low interest rates. Well, interest rates are going to go higher, so property is not a great place. Many stocks were a bubble. Samsung went up every day, Tencent went up, you know. Many stocks were forming a bubble. It's calmed down now. But the only asset that I know that's still cheap is, I mean, commodities. Silver is down 75% from its all-time high, <laughs> you know. These things are very, very cheap, and those are not bubble numbers. So, uh, And if we're going to have inflation, which we are, if you own the things that go up in price, when there's inflation, you make money. And mm. by definition, Commodities go up when there's inflation. Look around, a lot of people I know are investing in crypto and having fun and making money. <laughs> Many have already disappeared and gone to zero. My wife invests in crypto of all things, but <laughs> I don't invest in them because the, the bulls say they're gonna be money. And my answer to that is if and when all our money is on our computer, it's going to be government money. Mm. It's not, when the US government says, okay, this is money now, and every government is working on crypto money, they're not gonna say, this is money, but if you want to use that money, you can use that money. That's not the way bureaucrats think. That's not the way politicians think. They want control, they want to regulate everything, and so, in my view, if they're just trading vehicles, fine, mm. have at it. And I'm not a good trader. So the, so the recent doing... crypto crashes don't change your mind about you know, any consumer behavior that might be destabilizing or that's not your, your well, philosophy? Well, things change, then I have to change too. But no, I don't see anything that's going to make me, if suddenly the euro is all denominated in crypto, then I'll have to change. But no, <laughs> I don't see that.